Hello everyone and welcome back. Olivia here at the Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I am over the moon excited to share with you an amazing awesome Dollar Tree haul. So this is going to be for the end of June but you guys guess what? Dollar Tree is putting out some fall goodies. Primarily they're florals so don't panic you're not going to miss anything too crazy but I've also been picking up some other fun DIY goodies, items and decor pieces that you all will want to use in your home and goodies that look very, very high end to me, like something that you all would find at Hobby Lobby, Michael, Hobby Lobby Michaels or Kirkland's. Hey, listen, grab a cup of coffee, hot tea, a cool lemonade, or whatever you love to drink. Kick back and let me share with you guys this amazing Dollar Tree haul. And we have to give a shout out prop to my trusty assistant, Benji Bear here. He got his summer haircut recently. And so he is looking like a little bit of a smaller pup, but it's so hot here, you guys. It's in the high 90s on a daily except for today it actually is raining um but i had to give him a summer little pup cut okay so let's go ahead and jump into this amazing fabulous dollar tree haul okay so starting out check out these amazing hanging decor pieces i picked up two in the white with the gold base and then two in the wood with the gold base you guys these are really really nice they come with the pegs already on them so there's a lot of different things that you all can do with this this would be great for a kiddo's room to use as decor and to hang things on you could also use these in your beauty space for jewelry. The sky is the limit. The other thing I'm thinking personally, if you're going to be going for some fall decor, wouldn't these be beautiful repainted in a fall leaf color? They look like, <coughs> excuse me, leaves to me, but comment down below if you guys think that these may be something else. <laughs> the next thing I'm crushing on are these amazing little photo frame collage goodies that they're putting out. So this is just a framed piece right here. And I've actually even already done some DIYs, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention so you know what to look for. They have this little piece of string and then the cute little clothespins. And you could always add more clothespins. And what I've been sharing with you guys is how to change out the backdrop and really um, do something different to match your decor. And I also wanted to share with you guys that they come in brown and black. Now, these are the two colors that I found at my um, store. And if you pick them up, the four by six picture goes really nicely in here. Or you could even add another little piece of string and add some smaller school pictures. And now they don't come with a hanger on the back, but you guys could always pick up a little hanger kit um, or just hang two nails on the wall or just set them on a cute little easel. So this is a great deal for only a dollar. Keep your eye out for it. So Dolly Tree is definitely catching on to the galvanized decor trend and they are putting out all kinds of little fun goodies. Now, a friend of mine actually sent me this little galvanized truck. I have not found it in my store, but I want you guys to know what to look for. And then they're also putting out this larger piece of 10. There's so many things you guys can do with this. Hopefully I'll be able to find some more of these. Now what I was able to find in my store at an end cap was this cute little like little home thing. And what I think it would be cute to do would be to put like a kiddo's picture in it. Um, and then I also found some galvanized um, little clouds. We didn't have very much stuff left. I'm not always able to get into Dollar Tree as quickly as I want to. We have a lot of crafters in our area. So I know I've seen people post that there's galvanized tags and all different kinds of stuff. Now this stuff is going to be in your crafters square section. So everybody pretty much should have a crafters square, square section in their store by now. I know even in our really tiny small store that's considered to be one of the smallest stores in our area, um, they have a crafters square section section out right now. So be patient and just keep on the hunt. And a little tip that I do is I go to multiple Dollar Trees in multiple areas. So we have one at 30 minutes um, south of us and 30 minutes north. And I like to check them out when I happen to be visiting family in town. Another thing that caught my eye that I thought was really amazing was these larger signs that they're putting out. So these we're in our candle picture frame section. This one says love each moment and it has like the little foam rose up here. And then I also found one that says sweet dreams. My daughter and I recently have just been in love with, you know, writing down our dreams and different things like that. So I kind of loved that idea. And then this one says, make today amazing. And you guys know I'm a total morning person. I love to get up every morning and have a good morning cup of coffee with you guys on Instagram and share one of my Dollar Tree prayer cards. So these are really nice. And then if you don't wanna use them as they are, think about this, you could always make them into a lantern. I've been doing a ton of lanterns. I love them for summer. You guys are gonna have to go check out some of my videos. Um, I've been using 
using the lanterns at my patio, um, on my interior, my coffee table, and different things like that. Here's another thing you guys have to keep your eye out for is the 11 by 14 Artist Canvas Panels. Okay, so these are approved for acrylics and also oils. Um, Dollar Tree sells some canvas art pieces that you guys can use also in smaller sizes that have, you know, the wooden sides on it. But if you just want to kind of paint and test the waters at your painting skills, these are amazing. Even at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, these are going to be much more than a dollar. And check this out. It's 11 by 14. So it's a really, really nice size. And if you have kiddos or teens that are doing artwork, you're going to want to pick these up for them. They are even putting out paints and paintbrushes. Now, I don't think that the paints are that high of a quality, but again, I think it's nice to have some stuff in your stash to craft with that your kiddos can play with. I kind of recommend more some of the acrylics at Walmart, but if you're just having little ones and they're just going to be kind of, you know, not being super... Um, Anyway, it's not a bad idea to grab some inexpensive paints. So, but these canvases are a great deal. I think painting is so therapeutic and I actually do use the brushes from Dollar Tree. They're probably not the most high quality, but they work for my little fun crafty art projects. <laughs> the next thing I have to share with you guys are these really adorable little signs. So this one says gather, which is gonna be perfect for fall. And this one says family. And actually a friend of mine picked these up for me too. She always spoils me and finds things amazingly that I don't, I cannot find at all. So she must have a super, super Dollar Tree. Now I'm kind of wanting to change the paper out back behind them. Um, so I'm going to have to find a creative way to do that. Although the paper is cute. So we'll have to see what I do. I might just add bows and florals to it and all of that kind of stuff, but keep an eye out for some of these really nice signs. Again, to me, these would go for about five to $10 at TJ Maxx or a Hobby Lobby. The next thing I have to share with you guys are some of these amazing a fall little floral um, bouquet pieces. And these are called flocking balls. I'm not for sure why, but listen, these are going to be amazing for texture in your fall florals and arrangements. So recently I've been doing a lot of white and blue. And so I grabbed a couple of those. It's almost like a grayish blue. And then I also grabbed some of these orangey brown colors. They're just going to be kind of popped into some of my arrangements here and there. Um, so I just thought you guys would want to look for those as some of the new fall florals. And then speaking of fall goodies and fall florals, I picked up some of these cattails. They have a little, little uh, pine cones mixed in with them. They have this amber color and then also the darker color. There weren't very many left. So I just grabbed a couple and I did leave some behind, I promise. Um, but I grabbed a couple of these and they have the little cotton in them. I really think that this fall, I just really want to touch on every every bit of coziness and every bit of dimension um, with how I share with you guys how to do arrangements. So I grabbed a couple of these and then we have the tried and true um, little pumpkins. Okay, they had these last year, I know they did, but I wanna share these with you guys because when you go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, you're gonna find that these little pumpkin picks are a lot more than a dollar and you do get three on a stem and um, so you can just separate these or you can use these and these are gonna be so amazing in some of our big beautiful fall florals. The next thing that's amazing for fall are these oversized sunflower clips. Okay, these are so pretty and so sparkly and I know fall is more of like a subdued time of year, but you guys know I love to add some sparkle and shine to pretty much any decor thing that I'm showing with you guys. And I think it's great just to add a little bit of sparkle and shine. Now, if you don't care for this, these are still gonna be a nice clip and all you have to do is paint over the glitter with a little bit of acrylic paint, or you can add a jewel to the center. Hey, the sky's the limit. Check your stores for them because they went so fast in my store. In fact, these were the only two colors that I was able to find, but maybe I'll be able to find some more at another store when I'm popping back in. So fun and fabulous on a budget. <laughs> okay, another fall floral that kind of caught my eye that was new, maybe it wasn't new, was the hop bush. So I'm not even for sure what that is, but look at how pretty this green is. Now this is gonna be really pretty up against some of your fall florals. So we also have this hop bush in with the orange and I love these mini mums. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys some of what I'm thinking for the fall florals. Try to check your fall florals though, because check this out. 
either I was a little bit rough with them in um, transport or a couple of them popped out. So a lot of times when I'm pulling the Dollar Tree fall florals out, I will have a couple pop off and sometimes I'll just throw them in the cart and we'll just put them in the bag. Um, but you know, if you want to get the most bang for your buck, try to pick them with all of their little stems attached. I also grabbed some of these little aster flowers and let's see, they have the hot bush in the cream color. You guys know me, I go totally over the top for my floral arrangements. And I'm gonna do that for this year. I even like to look up bridal florals just to give me a ton of ideas. So we're gonna be mixing a lot of these all together. The other thing that I think is beautiful is the Gerbera Daisy. And I guess I'm saying that correctly. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I love, and they, they've had these for several years, but they're still really beautiful. And they have this little burlap detail that I've always been crazy about. And especially if you're decorating with more neutral colors, Dollar Tree is going to give you a lot of neutral ideas. Is. So let's just share with you guys. Let's take away the bright orange because I know some of you all decorate more in like a shabby chic style and I will share with you all colors of fall you know, decor ideas as much as I can. I do a lot for my home, but I will share with you guys different ideas. Okay, so here is what you can do if you decorate in more of some neutral colors. You can grab some of the filler flowers from Dollar Tree to create your arrangements and then pop over to your Michaels or your Hobby Lobby and add in some pinks or blues. They're gonna have those colors at the more high-end stores. The other thing I've done is I've spray painted my florals. You guys have probably seen it all if you've been around. And if you want to go check out some of my previous videos, I have three years of videos with tons of compilations, tons of ideas, and tons of colors. Now, right now, if you're decorating a traditional style, which I'm doing a little bit more traditional this year, um, you can go crazy with daisies. So we're probably going to do that, or I'm going to do that in my home. Um, I'm gonna do neutrals and sunflowers right like this. We'll do some of these as our start of fall. I don't like to go totally orange when it's still July, but we can get away with these colors to spruce up our home and really make things feel festive and alive. And I do like to change out my you know, florals and decor pretty much every other month. Um, or just add in some pretty touches. So if you're getting a little tired of your spring florals or even your summer florals and you just want to make a new arrangement, this is like $5 at Dollar Tree for this bundle of flowers. This is about five bundles um, total. And so think about this, you can just really jazz things up. And to me, these do not look that much different than the high-end decor stores. The other thing you guys want to do is you wanna check your Michaels at the end of the season. So probably around late June, July, they're gonna put all of their summer sunflowers on clearance. I've gotten them up to 90% off and they're beautiful. They're gonna be you know, a little bit of a brighter orange, but they're so great to work with and you're gonna get them at a deal. They're gonna be Dollar Tree prices for really high-end nice florals. Just a little design tip from me to you. <laughs> okay, another goodie that you wanna keep your eye out for are these um, just dried flowers. So I'm not sure that they had these last year, but if they did, I didn't see them. I kind of go for you know more bold stuff, but these are beautiful. These can come in the blue and the yellow. And then I also just grabbed a couple of the plain ones. And what we can do with these is we can add them into our fake florals, you know, to give it height and dimension. Or if you love a little bit more of a contemporary look or a simple look, but you still wanna do some fall, you know, grab some of these. You can put them in a beautiful vase and nobody will know that these are from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and last but not least on the fall florals and stems are grab your fall leaves while you can. I love this pick because it has a little pumpkin in it. Now this is gonna be a really brightly colored one and I'm not even for sure that I'm gonna do this bright of colors inside of my house, but on the outside of my house, I definitely love to do some color. So I have a bike in my front yard that I'll be decorating and just I'll do some florals outside and I want them to be bright, I want them to be cheerful, and I want them to be eye-catching. I have these really cute little scarecrows that I bought last year, and so we're gonna do some fall florals outside, so I don't mind these brighter colors. This is what I found at my Dollar Tree, so you guys may be able to find some different colors at your Dollar Tree, but keep your eye out. Just think about a couple of these popped into like a cute little um, metal, metal, you know, bucket for outside, or what you can do is pop these into some hay bales, add your little scarecrows, and you have a fun and fabulous fall display on a budget. Moving on to some candle ideas, I found this beautiful little votive and it kind of is in like an amber glass color with this pretty glam base. 
And then my daughter and I also found this French toast candle. This is one of the old Williamsburg candles, I believe. And it smells so good, you guys. Oh, I love candles that smell like baked goodies. If my house could just smell like a fresh cinnamon roll every single day or creme brulee or a, a cup of hot coffee with French vanilla creamer, I would be in heaven. I think that's what my house is gonna smell like in heaven. Um, but listen, I also love these old Williamsburg candles because they have a nice fragrance that's really strong. It's a small candle, it's not gonna burn forever, but this cute little jar can be repurposed and reused. So, so fun and fabulous on a budget. Okay, let's talk about crafting supplies for just a hot second. I grabbed this 18 inch wreath ring or wreath form. This is so much bigger than the other one is only 14 inches. And if you guys love to craft and decorate on a budget, and especially if you're a wreath maker for the holidays, you want to grab these larger ones. Um, these are a really nice size. You can use centerpieces. You can make them into deco mesh wreaths and you cannot find these wreath rings or wreath bases for that cheap anywhere. They're at least gonna be five to $10 at your craft store. I don't know why, um, but 18 inches from the Dollar Tree is what you're gonna, going to want to grab and look for. And it's okay if you don't find this size, grab the 14 inch ones. I like to stock up on my floral and um, wreath making supplies at the beginning of the season. So my store is putting them out. I'm gonna grab a couple, put them back. And that way when it's time to make our fall and Christmas wreaths, we've got something. And I had an Etsy shop for years and I always grab my wreath rings at the Dollar Tree. Another thing that I found that was kind of amazing, and I don't even know what season this was supposed to be for, was this love um, wreath. Now, what I'm thinking on this, okay, it would be great for Valentine's Day because it does say love. It has like this little wire, wired metal wording. Maybe it was supposed to be for, oh, it says infinity symbol. So, um, okay, so that's what it's for. But anyway, what I'm thinking, I'm always thinking, and my mind does interesting things with my thoughts, but I think we can make this into a snowman wreath. Um, I think we could do deco mesh because look at this, it'd just be so cute, and then add a little smaller guy at the top. So they have these um, smaller wreath forms that are eight inches. And think about this too. So you could grab a couple of the smaller wreath forms and then use the larger wreath forms. A fun idea on a budget. The other thing that our Dollar Tree has been putting out a ton of are the cross wreath forms. And so I'm not sure if maybe they just had a bunch of boxes left over from Easter, um, but I grabbed a couple of more. I did one um, for like a Memorial Day cross. I also did one for a friend of mine whose daughter passed and um, it was really, really beautiful. So I like to make these and just give them as gifts or to display them outside my home. And then you guys can also grab some of these. Um, and I'm only telling you guys to pick up wreath forms because it's so frustrating when you go to Dollar Tree and you need a wreath form or you need some of these basic supplies and you can't find them. So what I like to do is as I'm going through the season, when I see them, I'll grab, you know, just one or two and then they'll be in my craft stash. So if you love to craft, that's just a helpful little tip. I hope you guys can. Another fun thing to keep your eye out for at the Dollar Tree is baby shower and first baby supplies. Um, so this one says, hello, my name is and so you can put your baby's name I was born the weight the length and these would just be so adorable for a picture um, or even for baby's wall or any of that kind of fun stuff so before you go and drop a lot of money on some of these special occasion ideas such as weddings and baby showers and celebrations please check your local Dollar Tree they have the best stuff and the best deal as far as being able to buy things that you're gonna be decorating for pretty much maybe only once or twice. I mean, I decorated for my wedding that one time and then I didn't need all of that stuff. So I really did hunt my Dollar Tree. And um, another thing that they're putting out is some of this wedding goodies. So they have ceremony gifts and these come just like on a little stand you can pop out. So check this out, it's already completely done. Now, I don't have a ceremony coming up, but I would like to tell you guys that you can grab these and use them and paint them and add these in to your decor. Um, you could paint it and put fall on it, just whatever floats your boat. But just think about this. And also Dollar Tree is my one-stop shop. <laughs> Sorry about that 
for balloons. They have the most beautiful balloons for only a dollar for pretty much every occasion. Um, they're my go-to for birthday party supplies. I've always done all of my kids' birthdays over the top. You know, as far as like a little family party, I like to buy them four or five balloons and put that on the center of the table and some little table coverings. And it just makes it feel more festive. Even if on, you're on a budget, you can spend $10 on fun party supplies for decorating. And it's just gonna make everybody feel a lot more special and loved. <laughs> Another thing to start keeping your eye out for are the Dollar Tree school supplies. So I believe this is like a little pencil caddy. It's this desk organizer, but this caught my daughter's eye. They also have like a little stand up um, holder too. Now it's kind of like those new canvas organizing totes that they're putting out. So it's kind of canvassy and it's like a hard canvas, but I really feel like this is cute and it would be great for a desk, especially for a kiddo. Um, or, you know, even if you're just into kind of this more modern, or I guess this might be more boho. I don't know, comment and let me know what you guys think. But Dollar Tree is also my one-stop shop or go-to first for school supplies. So we're not able to find everything there. And sometimes the quality isn't the best. You just kind of have to pick and choose. But for little things like this, like folders and pencil caddies and different things like that, you're gonna find a lot of things for only a buck. Okay, you guys know I've been obsessed with solar goodies right now, just crazy over it. And look at what I found, these super cute little solar guys. Um, and they have like, the little reflective panel thing up here, I guess, that catches the rays. And then their little eyes light up. I cannot wait to set these out. They're gonna be so adorable. I've really been trying to make my patio look super cute. Um, and so this looks like maybe a little monkey and maybe like, mm, I'm not sure, maybe a chipmunk. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think that these are. And there was a couple more. I think I also grabbed a frog and something else, but so cute. And then speaking of solar, um, I actually even got one of these for my dad because he loves to plant marigolds and he doesn't do sunflowers, but check this out. So last time I shared with you guys the little hummingbird um, sunflower solar stake, but I got a couple of these for my front yard. I think these are going to be really cute. And of course, you know, this is the pot spot where the it just reflects out and then you have to put it outside in the sun um, so it will catch the rays and light up at night. So these are gonna go probably in my front garden bed. I have somebody helping me because it got messed up. Um, but anyway, so, so fun and fabulous for only a buck. Now, last but not least on my fall goodies list are some of the little mini straw hay bales. If you guys like to do a three tier tray, these are amazing for that. Um, they do shed quite a bit, but you could leave them in their plastic if you don't want them out. And then think about this. So I only grabbed two of these, but think about adding in these little cute little pine cones. Okay, so these pine cones are really cute. They're like the little mini pine cones and they're kind of getting stuck together here, but they have little sparkling, um, I believe either pumpkins or acorns. They're little acorns in there. So they have sparkling acorns with like the mini maroon. And then this one I think has like the little um, pumpkins. So these are really, really nice to put in like a pretty bowl. As a bowl filler, you could add them in potpourri. Oh, they do smell. This one says pumpkin scented and okay so they're both pumpkin scented oh my gosh you guys i'm just so excited for this new season coming up now i listen i love summer i'm not trying to rush summer at all but you guys know that when dollar tree puts stuff out you have to grab it the, the other thing i found that i thought was really cute was this little wooden tray with a heart on each end so these are going to be so cute we're going to do some fun things with them um so just keep an eye out for some of the fall goodies and the straw hay bales and the little pumpkin scented pine cones were with the fall floral section at my store. Okay, this is probably by far one of the most exciting finds that I have found at Dollar Tree. Check out these blue, beautiful plates. These are amazing, especially if you're doing blue decor like I have been recently. I only was able to find the plate and the bowl. I think that these are selling out really, really fast. If you want a little bit of change in your decor and you want something really high end, these are beautiful. If you guys can see, I've been just adding in some blue to my decor recently and you guys can use these in this late summer, early fall. And you don't even necessarily have to grab a whole set. For me, I just grabbed enough plates to set my table and one or two extra in case they break and then just a couple of the bowls. And so, you know, it wasn't a super whole ton to just change those out. I don't need every piece of this set, although I am a set that girl. I do like to buy every single piece, but they were completely sold out of my store anyway. 
but we're replacing um, all of our regular dishes. We're just kind of, I just have like a lot of hodgepodge. You know, I break things, I crack things. Um, I love my lemon dishes, but I'm missing a couple of pieces on my lemon dishes and our store doesn't have the sunflower dishes. So when I saw these and I realized these would look perfectly with my blues, um, I tried it because my home is just kind of an open floor plan from my living room into my dining room. I try to make things kind of match or a little bit cohesive. So these are beautiful and I'm trying to think what this um, design is called. It's called something. It's like really a fancy word and I can't remember what it's called. Um, chinoiserie. It's called chinoiserie. So you guys look up that word. I don't even know how to spell it, but this is kind of that chinoiserie look. So it's kind of like that traditional, you can add in some, you know, beautiful antique rugs or whatnot, or, you know, just, hey, grab some new plates. But so fun and fabulous on a total budget for only a buck, you can't go wrong. <laughs> now you guys know I'm kind of obsessed with coffee and I'm also obsessed with changing out my little towels. I'm kind of one of those type of people that we use our towels. In fact, we pretty much use everything in our home. We don't have like a showcase home where things can't be touched or set on or um, not used. I just always am a firm believer that you guys can, you know, just grab some new towels, but look at how cute these are. These say, wake up and smell the coffee. So I'm gonna be redecorating my three-tiered tray for July. Um, and then once the fourth has passed, I'll take out the fourth of July decor and we'll do something different. But I thought these were really cute. And I did just grab one, but they have the full set of everything. I think like the burner covers and all of that kind of fun stuff. And maybe these aren't new, but they were new to my store. And it's so funny guys like what is new at Dollar Tree the difference between what is new at Dollar Tree for me and then what you guys have already had or have seen it's, I feel like it's it's just different everywhere I feel like Dollar Tree is seriously like a treasure hunting hunting adventure and it's only a dollar I remember when my daughter first my daughter and I first started shopping at Dollar Tree. She was always the littlest and she was my little shopper girl. So I would give her a dollar and she would hold it in her little hand and just clutch it. And we would pick out a dollar for her and a dollar for me. And those would be the things that we would buy. And this was, you know, when I was staying at home for a very long time, I was just a stay at home mommy or work at home mommy. Um, and so anyway, um, and I started this YouTube channel actually by my son's suggestion. So I'm so thankful to have you guys here. I just such a blessing and I really hope that um, I can bless your lives with just the fun things that I find and do and share with you guys. Now, I also wanna share with you guys, I pick up everyday goodies at Dollar Tree. This is my son's favorite um, car fragrance. So I do grab some of these for him and I'll even make up like little goodie packs for him, um, just of different household items. I also love going to Dollar Tree to buy new toothbrushes and they have the little green floss or floral, or green flossers. Those are my favorite. Um, and then they have really pretty like little journals like this. A friend of mine got this for me. It's so beautiful. So you guys can put together really nice gift baskets as well. So anyway, that is going to be it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are inspired and had a fun time with me. I have my little trusty assistant, Benji Bear here. He is always out. He's always taking a nap in late morning with me. So I hope you guys had fun and I'm just thankful and blessed to have y'all here. I want you guys to have the most beautiful, wonderful day. I hope your summer is going amazing. I'm still gonna be putting out summer decor ideas and crafts and you know, I'll start to transition into fall once it gets a little bit closer past 4th of July. <laughs> I make all of my decor pretty much handmade as far as my florals and my wreaths and I decorate my house from head to toe and I like to share with you guys so many ideas. So it does take me a really long time to get ready for every season and it also keeps me busy. Sometimes if I'm going through something, no matter what it is, just plugging in my glue gun really helps me and so that's what I want to encourage you guys to do is just to continue to plug in your glue gun and get out your glitter and paint and make some crafts and get together with with your friends and family. Now that things are starting to loosen up about a bit, um, you guys can, you know, have little wreath making parties. I know some of you guys are posting that on my Love You Made Home Facebook group page. You can craft with your grandkids or your kiddos. I always crafted with my kiddos. We always did so many fun things. Even if you just grab some paint and paint a rock or, oh gosh, we painted on pretty much everything. I even let my kids paint their walls, you know, and different things like that. So there's so many fun things that you guys can do. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. 
Um, I'm excited for our new season upcoming of a fall. I want to pop into Hobby Lobby and just see what they have going on. I'm still completely 100% enjoying summer, so don't panic. You guys don't have to be rushed, um, but just because this is a decorating channel and because I do do a lot of home decor myself, I will start putting out some of those videos for you guys. So I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, blessed day. I can't wait for our next video, and we have to give a big shout out to Benji Bear for helping me out, even though he's pretty much been snoozing this whole time. But I love you guys. I can't wait for our next video, and until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.